quick tip before you start the video, check out the description box down below. Why did the cucumber cross the road? Because it was green. Hey guys, how are you? In a world where fresh salads and garden snacks reign supreme, there lies a hidden danger. Welcome to a journey where the innocent cucumber transforms from a beloved vegetable to a potential threat. But for some, this seemingly harmless vegetable holds a secret, an allergy that lurks beneath its crisp exterior. Ready to start? Let's go then! Is it possible for me to have an allergy to cucumber? Absolutely! Allergic reactions might manifest as skin irritations, itching, swelling of the tongue, throat, or lips, breathing difficulties, and, in extreme instances, anaphylaxis. Additionally, if you're allergic to ragweed pollen, you might experience oral allergy syndrome. What triggers a cucumber allergy? An allergic reaction to cucumbers occurs when the immune system erroneously perceives specific proteins in cucumbers as harmful, prompting a defensive response from the body. It may cross-react with other foods as well. This occurs when the proteins in one food are similar to those in another, triggering the immune system to react out to both. For instance, individuals allergic to ragweed pollen may also experience allergic reactions to cucumbers due to the protein similarities. This phenomenon, known as oral allergy syndrome, can cause symptoms such as itching and swelling in the mouth and throat shortly after consuming raw cucumber. Other foods that may cross-react with cucumbers include melon, banana, sunflower seeds, chamomile tea, and echinacea. It's important to note that having an allergy to one of these foods does not automatically mean you will be allergic to cucumbers. Allergies are highly individual and can vary greatly from person to person. If you suspect a cucumber allergy, seeking a diagnosis from a healthcare professional is crucial. The symptoms fall in three categories. Mild symptoms. Number one, itching or tingling in the mouth. Usually appears quickly after eating cucumbers and subsides on its own within a few hours. Number two, skin rashes. Red, itchy patches on the skin that resolve within a few hours. Number three, stomach discomfort. Mal abdominal discomfort or cramping. Severe symptoms. Number one, swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat. It can cause difficulty swallowing or breathing and requires immediate medical attention. Number two, difficulty breathing. This may indicate a severe allergic reaction and necessitates urgent care. Number three, dizziness. Feeling lightheaded or a faint can be a sign of serious reaction. Number four, anaphylaxis, a life-threatening reaction that requires emergency medical intervention. Delayed symptoms. Number one, abdominal pain. This may occur hours after eating cucumbers and can be associated with food allergies. Number two, nausea or vomiting. A delayed gastrointestinal response that shouldn't be ignored. Number three, diarrhea. Watery or loose stools occurring hours after consumption. Now, what are the treatment options for cucumber allergy? There are several treatment options available for managing a cucumber allergy. These include avoidance of cucumbers, medication for symptom relief, and sublingual immunotherapy. It's important to remember that each person's allergy is unique, and treatment should be individualized. Number 1. Avoidance The first line of treatment for any food allergy, include cucumber allergy, is avoidance. This involves eliminating cucumbers and foods containing cucumbers from your diet. Avoidance might be challenging as cucumbers are common in salads, sandwiches, and other dishes. Carefully reading food labels and asking about ingredients when eating out can help in successful avoidance. Number 2. Medication Medication is often used to manage the symptoms of a cucumber allergy. Antihistamines can help alleviate symptoms like itching, sneezing, and hives. Number 3. Epinephrine or adrenaline. 
For severe reactions, epinephrine is the first-line treatment. It can be self-administrated using an EpiPen or similar device. Always consult with a healthcare professional before starting any medication. Number 4. Sublingual Immunotherapy or SLIT SLIT is a long-term treatment option that involves regular administration of a small dose of an allergen under the tongue. Over time, this can help to decrease sensitivity to the allergen. While not yet widely available for food allergies, SLIT is a promising treatment option. It's been successful in treating pollen allergies, with potential for application in food allergies. Now, how to manage a cucumber allergy? Effectively managing a cucumber allergy involves a combination of avoidance, symptom control, and lifestyle adjustments. While avoidance of cucumbers is the primary method, it's also important to have strategies in place for dealing with accidental exposure and cross-reactivity with other foods. Accidental exposure Despite your best efforts at avoidance, accidental exposure to cucumbers can still occur. Having an action plan is crucial in such cases. This includes knowing how to use emergency medications such as an EpiPen and seeking immediate medical attention. Ensure you carry emergency medication at all times and educate yourself on close contacts on how to administer it. Lifestyle Adjustments Educating family and friends about your allergy can ensure a supportive environment. Learning to read food labels effectively is essential to avoid hidden cucumber ingredients. Making dietary changes and finding safe alternatives can help you maintain a balanced diet without risk. Consider carrying a medical alert bracelet that indicates your allergy. Thank you for watching. Managing a cucumber allergy might seem daunting, but with the right information and strategies, you can lead a healthy and fulfilling life. Remember to always read food labels, educate those around you, and carry emergency medication. If you suspect you have a cucumber allergy, consult with a healthcare professional to get a proper diagnosis and tailored treatment plan. Stay informed, stay safe, and don't let allergies to hold you back. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who might benefit from it. Until next time, take care and stay healthy!